Inc. is Love in the Name of Christ. We're an organization that we network churches together and we pool the resources, both of the physical goods and the people that serve in the churches to use their strengths, their talents, their resources to serve the impoverished community. Love Inc. is a national organization. We have two affiliates in the state of New Mexico and Albuquerque has one to serve a population of 750,000 people. So we are definitely a small organization trying to meet a very big need. But this is going to be something that matches the national model, so Love Inc. nationally. They have many programs and processes in place, and so we're going to now rework the Albuquerque model to match the larger national model. We've got about a dozen churches that are helping to financially support us, and that is you know, a primary source of our funding. But we've got many other churches that maybe can't support us financially at this time, but they're giving us volunteers or they're giving us access to some of their programs or their services. So, for example, we might work with a church that has a clothing closet or a food pantry. We work with another church that does an auto repair program so that when we have individuals call us for specific needs, we can refer to those churches that we already know have those established programs. I think one of the common situations that a, a church might experience is somebody walks through their doors and they say, our car broke down, we need food, we need rent, we need help paying utilities. And that church staff will help as best as they're able, but they spend a lot of time calling around to all these different organizations and agencies trying to meet the need of this particular family. And this family might get one out of five things met. So then they go to the next church and ask the same set of questions. And that church staff tries to do the same thing. And we, we've literally seen the situation where somebody maybe will go up and down Montgomery, hit all the churches at the various intersections, and by the end of the day, they've used dozens of, of church staff and their hours trying to meet the same set of needs. But one call to Love Inc. would have put them in connection with the appropriate level of help. So we're a resource for the church, but we're also a resource for the individual. And we absolutely want to have multiple churches in various parts of our community that have these various programs that we can refer out to because if we've got somebody in the southeast quadrant and the only church that we're working with is in the northeast heights that's not necessarily a great fit so we'd love to have multiple churches even if they are operating the same type of ministry all over the city so that those people that are in need can go to a closer location to get those needs met so I recently got an opportunity to visit a Love Inc. affiliate that's almost 20 years old and I was blown away by what they're able to do. They're in a community that's 350,000 strong. That's their community population base. They have an active volunteer membership of 3,500 a month. That means 1% of their community is an active monthly volunteer with Love Inc. And that just got my wheels turning and I thought, man, here in Albuquerque, Let's say 700,000 for our population. If we had 1% of our population actively serving, can you imagine what we can do? It's mind boggling. It's a huge job and anybody who's been in Albuquerque for any length of time knows that we're broken. We've got some big problems. We've got problems with human trafficking. We've got lots of drug problems. We've got lots of crime. But at the base of it all, it's an individual who is stuck in a cycle. And whether that's poverty, whether that's hopelessness, whether that's not being able to see beyond their today, that's where Love Inc. steps in. And they use the people of the various congregations, the various churches that we serve with, to pour into those people to help meet physical needs. But also we want to partner with them in relationship. We want to partner with them in education. And we want to partner with them to help them learn to get out of that cycle of impoverishment 